Warning, don't do any of this at home. The lead acids are more like dead acids, and a Tesla Powerwall costs over $10,000. What's a Micronation to do? Well, let's power it off the stupidest thing we can think of. I am the Emperor AP, and from my throne room RV, I will make Eternia the greatest Micronation to ever exist. This quest has made us many enemies. Those who would wipe us off the map given the chance. Yet I must stop at nothing to build my people a home. Lucky for me, I'm not doing it alone. Others have seen the value of our great empire, and what it can mean for those who have been abandoned by their mother countries. So no matter what stands in our way, no matter how tough things get, we will always have a reason to fight. If we're going to power anything, we need a lot of vapes. The lithium batteries inside are very power dense, but by themselves they can't do much. That being said, since our demonstration in our previous off-grid power video, we had acquired 12 of these batteries. The only problem is, with most DC items running off of either 12 or 24 volts, that means that we have to string together three of these 3.7 volt batteries in series to make a 12.6 volt cell. And with only 12 batteries, that means that we only get four of these 12.6 volt cells, which is better than what we had before, but still isn't super practical. Though recently, we got a sizable donation from some generous benefactors. 12 additional vape pins! That means after dissecting the smoke sticks and harvesting their precious power sources, we end up with 24 of these lithium batteries. And that's definitely enough to be practical. And here it is! This beautiful monstrosity is a 12 volt, almost 80 watt hour, lithium battery pack. Cool. So what? This is a set of two 15 meter or 50 foot LED light strips from Daybetter. We found them on sale at Goodwill for a few bucks. It runs off of a 12 volt, 3 amp or 36 watt power supply. This means theoretically when our battery pack is fully charged, we should be able to light this thing for over two hours. But theoretically it doesn't keep the lights running. So let's test it out. Before the video, I was able to charge it from around 10 volts to a little under 12 volts. And even at that, you can see it works just fine. So this is a practical example of what our off-grid power program is achieving. In case of an outage at home or a camp out at Vitae, we can store, transport, and use a significant amount of power. All we have to do is guilt more smokers into giving us their vape pens and voila, suddenly we're the place to be when the power goes out. Huh, maybe this is a little messed up. Maybe we're actually encouraging smokers. Or maybe we're just doing something good with common e-waste. Will the Emperor get over this ethical conundrum? Will the Empire ever have a sustainable power supply? And of course, none of what we do would be possible without our patrons over on Patreon. Thank you so much to Ellie Mayer for supporting us at the Innovator tier, and Eric24 for supporting us at the Champion tier. You guys make things happen here. Eternia forever!